Horses have left the paddock and come out to a parade for the upcoming seventh race. Ohio Sire State Constellation for three-year-old Philly Pacers, the best of the rest for a purse $6,000. One is Mayor's Eat Oats, owned by the White Creek Stable, James Daly. Two then is Spirited Sammy, owned by Scott, Gill, and Gill, William Walters Drives. The three is Emma's Desire, owned by Ray Burgermeister with Dean Collins. Four Pine Mountain Lady, owned by Ross and Ross, Kane Kaufman Drives. Five is Little Deuce Coop, owned by the Running Springs Ranch with Jeff Nysonger. Six Noble Zena, owned by Palmer, Palmer and Clark, Hugh Beatty on the lines. Seven is North Meadow Tam, owned by the North Meadow Stable with Russell Swartz. Eight Ellen's Angel, owned by Havens and Havens, Kyle Later calls the shots. From the outside, the nine Goa BB, owned by the DM Stables, Mokel and Rusefent. Bob Harper is in her sulky. That's the field for the seventh race. Three-year-old Philly, Ohio, Sire State Constellations, a per $6,000 for a start. They're off and pacing from between horses. Pine Mountain Lady is trying hard. From the outside is Noble Zena. On the inside is Mare Z Notes as they go into the first turn. Racing along fourth in his spirited Sammy. Fifth to the inside is Emma's Desire. Then we have Little Deuce Coop, and behind that one, North Meadow Tam with Ellen's Angel and Goa BB as they're now racing single file, clocking the opening quarter with Noble Zena on top in 27 and 1 fifth. Still racing second is Pine Mountain Lady. Inside, Mersey Dotes is third. Spirited Sammy is racing fourth. Fifth and peeking over to the outside, then is Emma's Desire. Second over in the cover flow, then is Little Deuce Coop. Third up on the outside is North Meadow. Tam to their inside, then is Spirited Sammy. With Ellen's Angel and Goa BB as they're into the clubhouse turn, pacing them on over to the half. And with the lead, it's still Noble Zena. She's the boss in here. The one out there by one in 57 and 3. On the move on the outside now is Emma's Desire. Pine Mountain Lady is now racing third. Second over in the cover flow is Little Deuce Coop with Mersey Dotes. Nailed to the rail racing in sixth. Third up on the outside is North Meadow Tam. On the inside, then is Spirited Sammy with Ellen's Angel and Goa BB as they pace it on to three quarters. It's still Noble Zena out there in neck. Emma's Desire out there in second. Pine Mountain Lady is third, three quarters and one, 26 and one. Into the final turn they go, and it's still Noble Zena who's under attack. On the outside, Emma's Desire's racing second. Poised to strike three wide is Little Deuce Coop. Waiting for the passing lane, there is Pine Mountain Lady with Mersey Dotes as they cut the corner. They're into the stretch and a drive for the wire. On the inside, it's going to be Pine Mountain Lady up the passing lane with going to be Noble Zena, but it's Pine Mountain Lady getting up with Noble Zena, Mersey Dotes, and Emma's Desire in 155. Exact at 94.40 and a 4.61 trifecta, 328.20. Moving back into the winner's circle after winning the consolation for Ohio Sire's sake, three-year-old Phillies, per $6,000 to four Pine Mountain Lady. She's a three-year-old gray filly by Jet Log and Worthy Sum by Handsome Sum, owned by Douglas Ross and Charles Ross of Ohio. Charles Ross trains winning driver here, Kane Kaufman. And for Kane Kaufman, a driving double thus far on today's card, this one home. New lifetime mark for the winner, 155.